Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero, where today we are going to be going out, finding all the pieces to scan for your sea truck. I already got one. Getting all the resources for the sea truck as well, which first off here we are going to pin because I already pulled up what we need. We need, oh god damn, enameled glass. Uh, wait, or is it just glass? Please just be glass. Yes, just glass. It looks like that's what we will need. Um, I need titanium. And what else was it? Uh, I need... Power cell. And... This. And in which that means... Like, that's the like main stuff we need. I'm pretty sure I can easily make glass. Yeah. I'm going to just do that one real quick because I'm pretty sure that will just, that just cleans up space on my screen. Same thing here with the titanium. I got enough here exactly for that uh, ingot. So we'll just do this. So that way I don't have to have it pinned on my screen the whole time. And I guess I actually had extra than what I thought. So let me uh, throw that in there. Let me throw just that stuff in there so I know where it is. Um... I guess I picked up a beacon at some point. And yeah, I think this that's the stuff I want to keep on me for now. Okay, so it looks like I have everything here as well for the power cell. So I'm going to just quickly get this crafted up. And so I can also unpin it off my screen. And boom. Now, I think, yeah. That should be a lot of the stuff for a while. Because I'm pretty sure that... It needs how much lead? Five lead. I need one more lead. Needs one power cell. And what else did I just put in there? Put my knife in there on accident. I don't want that. But yeah, it needs one advanced wiring kit. One. Is that one or a two? Sorry, the image that I have here is blurry. Uh, I'll know better once we get it. But I'm pretty sure it's. Yeah, it's just one titanium, two glass. I think it says five lead and then a power cell. I might be wrong because we have to go out again and uh, scan it. Need two more. And I actually got my map here to pull up. Sorry if you guys hear me closing tabs. I have opera. And it's probably not a good idea to have uh, <clears throat> the sound effects on when I'm recording. But at least it's better than my old one. I had... Uh, Charlie uh, Penguin Zero, where he would go, woo, every time I closed a tab. <laughs> that one was, uh, that one got sadly annoying quick. So I got to head a little bit south west? South by like a tiny bit west from the base. Okay, I think I just found my first Seamoth fragment. Yep. And then from here... Oh, is that another one? Right on... Oh, that was... We just got it. Like, it was like two... It was like right on top of it. So... Let me gather some stuff here. And I need to quickly... Oh, I know for a fact that right there is one of the things I need. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a second here. Oh, there was an oxygen... Thing right there. I would have been fine. Let me figure out what materials I need here for an advanced wiring kit. I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm tired of these brute shark. Like, they hurt. And they are everywhere. They're, like, they're worse than the stalkers. Because at least the stalkers, you could, like, they'd give up chasing you. These guys, they don't give up. At all. Okay, so exactly for the sea truck, you need one titanium, one wire, advanced wiring kit, two glass, three lead, and one power cell. So it's three lead, not five, like I was thinking. So I've got almost, I got everything except the advanced wiring kit. And now, what do I need? I need silver, and I need, uh, what else? For the computer chip. Need gold and copper wire. Do I got enough copper for wire? No, I don't. I might just have to go get some resources. 
Okay, so I think we're gonna do the first thing here, which I just learned. Uh, apparently, if I head back over this way to where uh, we first jumped into the water and then follow the wall to the right, I'm gonna find a little like hole in the wall back over here um, that is just filled with gold and silver. This right here. Look at that. Let me, uh... Ore vein. Yeah, it's silver gold, silver gold, silver gold. We got a bunch of it. We should look at that. We ain't gonna be stocked up forever, but we got what we needed for today. Definitely. Like one hundo. Now, I need, uh, I need, I think, one more copper and one of those, uh, what are they called? Pieces of coral, sorry. I can't even, I was, like, trying to think of exactly what their name are, but it's a coral piece. Duh. So, oxygen. let me get oxygen here, and then we're gonna go dive down deep into this, uh, windy coral zone, because that's where you get the red coral. Okay, so we got our uh, piece of coral here. Table coral, that is exactly what it's called. Now, that's titanium. I don't need that. That's going to give me titanium if I scan it. Hopefully, one of you drops me a piece of copper. Alright, I technically got everything I need, but may as well just grab these because they are right here. And, yeah, we are now good to surface. I was just using that to help me get up faster. I had no clue where I was going. I could, I like, I was just going off into the distance. That's like northwest. I don't, I think that's going to take me up there to the area with the ice worms if I head up to the northwest. So, let's go get our taxi made. Our bus. Our sea truck. I called it two things that it's not. I called it a taxi and a bus. It's a truck. Okay, now I got everything I need on me. Let's climb up in here. Now, my one thing is, is I got to get something set up. So that way I can recharge these power cells and batteries. And I need to figure out how to do that. So I might have to deviate from my guide here. Uh, I think after next episode. Because like next one here. Like after we get done with the sea truck and all that. We're going to be trying to go find the robotics landing pad. And then after that we're going to go try and find the sanctuary zero. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Oh, really? You think? It's a blizzard. But yeah, now we got this. I wonder if there's any other sea truck modules? How do I get in? Wait, like, seriously, how do I get in? Oh, enter from the top. Ooh, it's fast. I like it. But I'm guessing, like, once I start adding on more and more, uh, like, you know, modules to the back of it, it's gonna get slower and slower and slower. But it's probably, like, good, like, just like this for what I need tomorrow. Because I just need something to help me get down and underneath the, this glacier and, like, protect me at the same time. Do I have no sea truck modules? Like, wh how do I uh, expand? Oh, I think, uh, I think I have to go get more. But I know I can do this, the upgrade. But I don't... No, what do I need for a plasteel ingot? Two ta I don't know how to get light lithium. This might be something I try and do off screen here. And uh, I need enameled glass. If it if I decide that this is too difficult to go find a diamond in lithium, I will completely just not do it. So I'll just like again, I looked up a video there and it quite literally told me like, oh, there's just a stash right over here around the corner. And that caught me by surprise. I honestly did not even think, like, oh, there's going to be a big, like, easy-to-get stash of this research. There might be an easy-to-get stash of lithium and easiest stash to get of diamonds, so I might give it a try. But let's go give this sea truck a test drive. I want to go see how far down into the coral biome I can get. And I might actually just go down there and we might just go stock up into, a uh, stock up with some resources. I don't think it has storage on board, uh, but I wish, I think you can actually get it, but I wish it started with some. I don't ever have any vehicles start with some. 
just going to keep on going down. You know what? Just in case something goes wrong, save. <laughs> you know, we just want that save. Hi, buddy. I don't think this is the bottom. It's just this part. We've reached that. We're almost at our max depth, actually. Holy. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Pal damage ooh, imminent. ooh. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Ooh. What be that? Is that a suit artifact? That might be I'm um, that might be the wrong alien species. I I am sorry if I have just offended people. You see what I want to go for. You prick. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, also that. Ah, uh, you know what? We can do this. Can I track my sea truck? Yeah. Let's make sure you, you show up as green. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Rebreather. Nice. Okay. I think I remember seeing that one on the, like, map of collectibles to get. Um, let's get back up in you real quick. Ah! I wish it was just like the sea moth where if you clicked on it. No, no. Can't go any deeper. I keep on doing that. And I don't have a repair tool. I Well, I do. I just don't have one on me. Or do I? I lied. I do. That should be hot barred. Looked right into its mouth. Dude, like. Yeah, that hurt. Didn't it? Now, how do you like it? Sorry, I, I like... Hey, hey, what? That better be a wall. Okay. I <laughs> I just got a bad flashback of, like, me just tripping out sometimes in Subnautica where I would bump into things and just freak the hell out because it's like, it's got me! <laughs> and I'm thinking of Reapers for some reason in the safe shallows. <laughs> you know, just, like, tripping. Ooh, ooh, I was just out here exploring, and I'm pretty sure... Oh. Also, I'm getting real far from my base. I'm kind of getting over towards... It's a safe area, trust me. It's not showing reapers around, so I don't have to worry about it. But I found some exterior grow beds. Now, this is actually really, really good early on to find. Because, like, you'd have to go out to one of the floating islands back in the previous game to find one of these. Actually, yeah, you'd have to go out to the only floating island that was on the surface to find these, I believe. If I'm wrong, somebody will correct me in the comments. They always do. But yeah, we get some exterior grow beds. Now, I got already enough of these electro things to... Barnacle. Nice. Water. Can I scan the... That's already something I can do. Okay. Um, yeah. Also, that's the vents over there. And I'm pretty sure... I don't want to actually head... Do I want to head into the vents? Because I'm not 100% sure if that thing's over in there. there. Okay, that's ice. I'm just tripping. Or is it? Nah, it's ice. It's ice. I'm going to actually head back to base now. Uh, or, Yeah, no, because I've gotten the stuff I wanted to get today. We went down. We got... Well, did I get... Did I... Oh, it's one of you guys. They're not a Leviathan, but they are a hostile. So, yeah. They're, it's best to be avoided. I was told they do a lot of damage if you're outside of a vehicle. Otherwise, they just do some damage to your vehicle. You know what? Do I want to go back to base, or do I want to go and try and find some more sea truck pieces? That's a good question. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can get any other ones except, like, the storage module right now from the Twisting Bridges, and I've been driving around for the longest time looking for parts. I mean, that's the first part I've just... Like, as I said it, I've been looking for parts. So that's the first part I've seen, and I'm pretty sure it's for the cab. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, it's just going to give me titanium, because I need a storage module. Well... 
I have not seen a single piece for the storage module. At all. So, yeah. I'm gonna chain, kinda just give up for now. Like, both those. Both of those are, like, have, like, the actual, like, sea truck part. They're not the storage. So, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know. I know that there's a dock. That might be, you know what? I will try and go and find the dock for the twisting bridges. So that way we can at least say that, hey, we checked here. Oh, there it is. I think that is the dock right there. It's gotta be. Should be an Altera platform around here as well. I think it might be up on the ice. I'm wrong. Um... It says it's Altera platform should be north of it. That's what I want to get first. And that might be down here. Yes. It's out of view. This is what I want to grab first. So, boom. What do you got? Water. What do you got? Med kit. And it looks like there are power. No, it looks like that's just debris that looks like it's fallen from above. Anything else around here before I go up? Yes, maybe. What are what is this? Vehicle bay fragment. I already got a vehicle bay. Okay, where's my sea truck? Let's go hop in the sea truck. And hopefully up here above us is a fry out oh, yep, fragment for this the storage unit. Just also kind of looking around, maybe see if there is a thing on the ground to scan. I don't see anything. Let's, uh, let's get out. Ooh, come on. Oh, damn. It's gonna make me use the ladder. What's this? Mineral detector. Don't I already have one of those? Yep, I already scanned one of those. I don't have one, but I've scanned one. Flare. Seek fluid intake. Okay. Do I have fluid? Yes, I do. Vital signs stabilizing. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Okay. I don't know why I thought there would be something up here. I think it was just hope. Hope that I could get the storage module up and going. Um. I see more debris. I'm gonna just go follow it. Maybe... Maybe this actually leads somewhere? No, I'm just crazy. That was, a uh, That's seaweed. Is there anything? Yeah. I'm starting to get into the vents, so I don't... Yeah, I don't want to go that way. Because of those guys. Pretty sure they can mess up a sea moth. In my, or not sea moth, uh, sea truck. And mine is already kind of messed up. Okay, guys. So I'm pretty sure this is just going to be it for this episode. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to find any other modules. Or, I, yeah. No, I actually wasn't because I looked real good. I did, like, I looked as much as I could in the areas that I trusted down there in the, like, the sea, like the coral bridges, I'm thinking I have to go deeper. So I might have to go over and get this one place done first. And then hopefully, hopefully, I can also hear when I go and look for diamonds and lithium, find that. And also hopefully we can get some more upgrades for this. But yeah, this is just going to be it for this episode. So if you guys have found yourself at any point enjoying it, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, this has been Gunshy Mori, signing off. Peace.